This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Tuesday, August 15th, 2017. Euro dollar. So as we highlighted in our Monday analysis, although the euro was looking like it could be poised to trade up a little bit, the market was seen being very well capped up towards that recent 2017 and plus two and a half year high at 119.11. It seems that given weekly technical studies that are qu still quite extended, the greater risk for that next big move is to the downside with a breakdown below 1690 to strengthen that outlook and accelerate declines back towards the 115 area which coincides with a measured move extension and the 50 day moving average. At this point, it would really take a close above 120 to negate that outlook and suggest that the market could be poised for another upside extension well beyond that figure. Until then, allow, we need to see these technical studies unwind from these overextended studies. And again, the greater risk is for some form of a move to the downside back towards the 115 area. Sterling dollar. So cable looks to be consolidating its recent declines and there's risk now for additional setbacks towards that critical previous range high from earlier this year that had defined the top of a range for so many months at 127.75 off those plus 30 year lows from October 2016 at 118.40. And so while we could see setbacks towards that 127.75 area, the risk from there would then be for the market to base out and continue higher eventually up towards the next key measure move extension at 135. So a constructive outlook for the pound, but in the short term there is risk for a pullback towards the 127 area before we see that market head higher. Dollar yen. So dollar yen is in the process of bouncing out from recent lows in the 108s. The market stalled just shy of the 2017 low at 108.13 that was back in April. And at this point, it is possible that this range trade that we've seen over the past several months could continue with the market bouncing out from current levels back up towards the 114 to 115 area. At the same time, the pressure does remain on the downside right now, and we could still see a drop towards a retest and potential break of that 2017 low. So it's going to be interesting to see how things play out here over the coming sessions. But overall, for the time being, the rally should be well capped. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss has put in a very nice rebound after the market had rolled over from a 2017 high and the highest levels that this market had been at since January of 2015. And the market is now bouncing after a small correction into the 112s. But overall, there is still risk of this market chops around here, then at this point continuing significantly higher. And we could still see the market stall out and trade back down towards the even 110 to 112 area before it continues through 115.39 and towards 120 further up. Aussie dollar. So Aussie has been showing signs of a top off the plus two year high that was seen earlier several days back at 8066. And there is risk now for additional declines that could take this market down towards the 75 to 76 area now before it considers a potential resumption of gains. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has been very well supported in recent trade after bouncing out from its plus two year low and that 2017 low from several days back at 124.14. There's risk that this upside continues and the market now pushes back towards a previous support now to resistance in the 130 area. 129.40 is a good level with it being the 38.2% FIB retracement off of the 2017 high to low move. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi has pulled back quite sharply since putting in a plus two year high earlier uh, several days back in late Jan July at 75.58. And from here, there is still risk that this market continues lower towards a test of the 72 area and potentially down towards the 70 to 72 area. We would need to see the market bottom out and trade back above the 74 handle to suggest that it's looking to push back up. And until then, the pressure now is back on the downside. SPX 500. The S&P 500 saw a sharp reversal in the previous week to set up a bearish outside week formation off record highs, but so far in this week, the market has seen very well supported on dips and racing back towards those 2017 and record highs that we saw in the previous week. At this point, it would take now initially a break back below the 2430 area, that low that we had seen from the previous week, and certainly a break below 2400 to suggest that we could be seeing a more significant bearish structural shift. Until then, the pressure remains firmly on the top side. 
gold. So gold has been consolidating into this week, but overall the pressure is on the top side here and the market looks to be poised to break above the 2017 peak at 1296 and head towards a retest of the 2016 peak at 1375 for the rough. If we do see any setbacks here, they should continue to be very well supported ahead of 1200 with only a break back below that level to compromise what has been a constructive outlook for gold over the past several months.